Today in series of Doplexis KL interviews, we have with us Dr. Krishna Prasad Kudlu. He's a director of Prasad Netra Lai Super Speciality Hospital in UDP and Mangalore. He's the honorary secretary of Karnataka Ophthalmic Society. He's also the member of scientific committee of AIOC and chairman of vision committee for the government of Karnataka. Thank you, Dr. Krishna, for the interview. Thank you. Uh, so my first question to you is, what is the treatment and recent advances in press biopia? Yeah, I think you have seen uh, in ophthalmology, compared to the any branch in uh, our uh, body, like medicine, skin, ENT or uh, orthopedics, ours is the one speciality keep happening every year. For example, I think uh, uh, even I think it's not exactly related to eye. When I'm looking at your eyes, I think if I meet you another one week, you might be applying some other cosmetic to your eye. Because even about the, the eye cosmetics also has been changing. Or even whatever the lens, especially people like, I think you are using a colored contact lens, I, I believe. No, your eyes are only like that. So someone using colored contact lens also, I've seen them changing. Like that, our overall specialty been changing from every day. So, I think nowadays, I think if you ask anybody, nobody wants to look old. That is the overall yes. theme. Yes. Whether ladies or gents, everybody wants to tell them, sir, what is your age? Yes. Then you have to, they'll be keep telling that your age is around 30 <laughs> or 35. Nobody wants to tell that my age is 40 or 45 or 50. Yes. As simple as that. See, nowadays, see, the, what, what exactly this presbyopia, it normally started at the age of 40 years. People find it bit difficult to wear, difficult to see for smaller objects when they are reading or even for females whenever they want to th do the threading. So they cannot see for near object. That time they may require some glasses, especially for seeing for smaller object. But once someone wearing this sort of chasma, chalis or chasma, then people know that she is 40 or he is 40 but nobody wants to be really look old and of course there are some people like see people ask me like a lot of people ask doctor how old are you one girl was asking me today and i said that you tell me you are around 32 i am so happy but now also in this interview i don't want to <laughs> reveal my age so the right. main thing press biopia has been becoming more and more concerned to most of the patient so tell you very frankly this press biopia no exact treatment. I think till couple of years back, we used to only wear the glasses. And some of the company been even using some contact lenses. But people wanted the permanent solution. Doctor, do you have any permanent solution with you? To overcome that, there are different sort of treatment modalities. This has come in our market. But patient wants the immediate treatment, today treatment, tomorrow results. So to overcome that, I think I have been doing a something, the treatment called Press Beyond. It is a unique technology from uh, Carl Zeiss Meditech, Germany. And uh, I think I am happy to share that even though I practice in, in a tier 2 city called Udupi, still I have done highest number in Asia. I have done around 500 patients plus patients and till today, with the grace of God, absolutely there is no problem. Why I am telling this, the overall uh, uh, concept of this treatment actually you have to treat both the eyes yeah this is something called the eczema laser treatment mm. and uh, by treating both the eyes you can make the patient to see for distance and you can make the patient to see for near that is the main thing see now what exactly we do here actually uh, in eyes we have got two eyes okay right eye left eye but let me tell you one thing among these two eyes, one eye is going to be the dominant eye and other eye is going to be the non-dominant eye. So being an ophthalmologist, we ourselves check the patient which is their dominant eye, then we make the nominant, dominant eye emetropic and make the non-dominant eye myopic by 1.5 diopters. Along with that, we create a spherical abrasion in each cornea that helps to increase your depth of focus. By increasing depth of focus, you can the patient can see for distance, patient can see for near. 
see this treatment is overall the timing of this treatment around 10 minutes it's very simple mm. only thing is being a ophthalmologist being a eye doctor you have to study about that treatment you should know the principles of that treatment how exactly you have to do so most of it's unfortunate to tell you that most of us among our specialty they are not aware of exactly how this treatment works uh, let me tell you one of the leading ophthalmologists from bangalore he himself got operated to his eye i think around 2 years before and i happened to be moderated that live surgery one of the doctors from london he came all the way and did surgery for the doctor so the why i am telling you being a eye doctor can undergo himself you don't require more evidence that this treatment is fantastic and of course there are some people there are some limitations for every treatment for example some of our pre operative investigation may not suit for this particular treatment these are the patients we don't pick them for this particular treatment of course some patients at the age of 60 some doctors i think you would have met them in today morning onwards even though they are 60 doesn't look 60 they look like around 35 so they also wants to look younger but when he examine them sometimes the treatment might be difficult so we have got a other option it's something called uh, putting a intraocular lens implanting a uh, permanent lens inside your eye that once again solve the problem so see why i am telling this press biopia is going to be the market for ophthalm uh, ophthalmic fraternity in coming another 2 years so another 2 years of course people do cataract surgery people do i think uh, uh, lasik surgery but the market is going to be press biopia because uh, no one wants to look old everybody want, like people wants to doesn't want to wear the glasses up to the age of 40 see let me tell you one more thing see this uh, uh, if a patient comes for wants to get rid of glasses younger patient around mm. 18 to 20 years normally if you tell them some charge they have to go back to their parents and ask for money but patient more than 40 they will be all earning they need not have to ask someone they can spend any money so the market is there in press biopia and definitely not only as a monetary benefit to the doctor even it will be benefit to the patient self i think once again i am telling you the press biopic market is going to be the happening in our field of ophthalmology some nobody wants to wear glasses after the age of 40 right yes uh, so moving on to the next question uh a doctor you believe in reaching out to every nook and corner of the country for eye care facility so can you please elaborate on the same see i think you have been seeing that uh, our prime minister of india narendra modi ji's concept is like health care for everybody so he has been i think you have seen a probably a couple of weeks back he announced something called a universal health program right. for everybody so uh, like that i am chairman of uh, vision committee government of karnataka even government of karnataka is also going to launch a, some special health scheme called universal health scheme the basic universal health scheme is health for everybody see if your health is good then everything is yours no health whatever money you have got doctor absolutely waste so what exactly government wants to do actually to upgrade the government hospital facility so i have been talking to the health minister of karnataka how can we really improve the overall infrastructure in small small healthcare places in karnataka so we have been working on that now all of a sudden from central government till the state government irrespective of the political party they want to improve the overall infrastructure of government hospital not only th- i am not telling that private hospital not doing the good job they are doing a fantastic job of course ma- of course ma- money wa- Uh, of course nowadays even the overall money wise also mm. they have dropped the price but where this poorest of the people should go that is my to especially see in in indian population more than 70% of the people are from the lower poverty so they also should get the best of this treatment i was talking about the press by epic treatment yeah. even poorest of the people should get right. how can they go to a private hospital and get mm. so of course they can get but they has to spend more money so to overcome that i think you have to we have to lift our government hospital facility if you lift our government hospital facility we can improve the infrastructure in all the government hospital 
and meanwhile i think i had given a one more suggestion to the honorable health minister telling that let us have a one hand to hand collaboration with the most of the private hospital so already even i am a part of private hospital association also we had a talk with all the leading uh, physicians of india doctors of india they are on on a social ground they are ready to uh, give a hand to hand with the government so that they also wants to sign for this universal health scheme and they also trying to help the government to treat a poor people in a subsidiary rates so i think another one and half to two years definitely india is going to become more and more healthier provided patient also should understand what government is doing for the public meanwhile those who don't have government hospital will refer those patients to the private hospital and private hospital whatever the price they agreed mm. uh, in their memorandum of understanding they have to do under that price if they do i think health for all it may go into by doing that i think vision for all can happen by year of 2020 we want to reduce overall incidence of blindness as much as possible thank you so much dr krishna it was a pleasure having you here yeah thank you, thank you.